I, I could literally start immediately. A wee mowit. I could start immediately. A wee mowit. How you like that, dude? A wee mowit. We on, baby. Japan started making VCRs. Uh, I knew he couldn't resist. <laughs> I knew he couldn't resist. He heard the chatter start. Doing a proper goodbye. You out of here? Yeah. Um, I'm going to need probably eight or ten. You need eight to ten tickets. On Thursday night. Okay. Believe me, there's seats all over the place. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> sold out. It's sold. It's Pittsburgh Improv sold out, baby. I told you guys. I told you guys. I told you guys. No, they won't. They did. When? They ticketed your car. We parked. I saw him parked the other way, so I parked the other way, and I said Phil's gonna come out, and he's gonna say. Guys, just so you know, your car's facing the opposite direction. They're gonna, they're gonna ticket you. I've seen them ticket you. I'd love to see them touch my car. If, if those fucking dumb pigs come out, I'm gonna push them. <laughs> Phil, this house, we believe in science. True. If I see blue lives around my car, Phil, I'm gonna fucking go off. Fuck the blue lives. <laughs> Trump's a pussy. <laughs> Phil. <laughs> Phil. They put the rumble strips. Phil. Trump's a pussy. <laughs> yeah, bullshit. Oh. Told you, told you. Oh, both that's things. so good. How how well do I know that man? That's so good. As soon as the red light comes on, he's he's got to be around the camera. Oh, yeah. he's a little gory hound, dude. I was home like two weeks ago. And my dad for lunch was eating a tuna wrap with milk. <laughs> oh, that's crazy. In the middle of the day, I was like, Jesus dude, Christ, tuna dude. and dairy, <laughs> tuna and milk. Yikes, just, dude! I don't know what it is. Oh. Dads have some that's kind what a cat of would have for lunch. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Crazy. It is, dude. But I'll say this, man. Dads know how to make tuna salad like a fucking Michelin star chef. They just do it fucking nice. Right amount of salt and how pepper. How many dads? <laughs> how many dads have you seen do this? <laughs> Two, including yours. <laughs> I assume it was a decent sandwich. I assume he threw down, yeah. Now, my dad used to hook up tuna salad, put yeah. a little relish in it, fucking be so jealous, a little black pepper. Make it nice. My dad would eat cottage cheese. Love it. Out of the can. Yeah. Love it. Mm -hmm. Is that normal? I don't no. know. I don't think it's, it's normal. I mean, disgusting. people do it. I love it. Do you eat yeah. cottage cheese no. at all? Dude, no. I love it. He just would spoon cottage yeah. cheese. Put black pepper in there or sometimes a little bit any, of honey? I don't think anything. Just, just raw dog in it? He would, yeah, he'd be watching sports, drinking. I'd turn around, he'd be in the kitchen. <laughs> Watching the game still, just <laughs> <laughs> scooping down a lump of Breckstones. Oh. Uh, when your family rep ever represent themselves in court? No. <laughs> but my dad. <laughs> Somebody had <laughs> yeah, tried yeah, 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 or yeah. thought about it. So I was getting, uh, my friend got arrested for, we were, I was driving, we were driving past the cop and he screamed. He was like, fucking pig. Yeah, they don't like that. And he, he caught us. Mm -hmm. And he tried to, he pulled me out of the car. He didn't pull me out. He made me come out of the car. And he was like. What'd you say? And I was like, I didn't say it. He was like, Who did? I was like, I'm not gonna tell. <laughs> I was like, I can't snitch on my. Ain't friends. no rat. He was like, Well, it came from your side of the car, and I was like, Yeah, and it, it wasn't did. me. <laughs> Do the math here. <laughs> Come on, dude. I'm not telling you, but it wasn't me. And then uh, we went to court, and he brought we you in court. for that court, dude. What? Court. What was the charge? I'm obstructing. He was pulling someone over. Uh, it's bullshit. But these in the are middle trumped of, up charges. It was crazy. Yeah. And then in the middle of it, my dad stood up, said something, and the judge. I guess he knew the judge somehow. I don't it's know. Just bullshit, Larry. And he goes. <laughs> he said something, and the judge, like jokingly, was like, "Are you? Are you his attorney?" And my dad goes, "No, but I did stay at a Holiday Inn Express <laughs> last night." <laughs> Shut the fuck. The place went wild, dude. <laughs> There's no way my dad's taking a solid shit. Dude, I see bad. the turlets. Have you smelled his dumps? Like I haven't smelled a dump, but I've seen the aftermath. If you go to my <laughs> parents' house, if you go up to the my parents' bathroom, Jackson Pollock is it on like the back. A, dude. It's, it's a rest stop mosaic? It's a rest stop <laughs> mosaic, dude. He sprays the turlet. <laughs> he hits the spray every time. And you can hear it, dude. Every, you know, every time Phil shits, it starts with like a... <laughs> 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 it's funny. You can just yell. You can be like, "Hey!" He's like, "Shut up!" <laughs> I used to. I lay. I laid on Phil watching football. That's pretty sick. Too late. Like late. <laughs> like I was big. Yeah. And I was a big fucking kid. Yeah. <laughs> I was huge, dude. I was laying on. I was like five eight, laying on him. <laughs>
<laughs> it, was, it was like two adult men just laying on, <laughs> laying on each other watching football. He was probably buzzed as hell, too. He was probably <laughs> fucked up, dude. He was probably shit facing. I remember uh, the, the thing I remember the most is just my head would be on his stomach and it was just constantly like, <laughs> like, I, like even as a kid, I was like, that's crazy. <laughs> Something's wrong. <laughs> and now I have it. Now I have the same same gut as my father. Oh. Yeah, it's got to be so sad the day that your kid can't lay on you anymore. It's like, all right. This is I did used thing. to uh, sock him in the nuts. Oh, dude. I get, I get hit in my nuts as hard as humanly possible once a day. Yeah, the, ch- Just the children one, love it. Dude. Once a day, I got fucking kicked directly in my sack yesterday, <laughs> like full jump on it. It was terrible. Wait, what's the Elks? The Elks Lodge. It's the fraternal or brotherhood. Yeah, they have a they <laughs> the have fraternal a fraternal order. Yeah, <laughs> they have a man frat. Yeah, they have a frat. It really? Just, it's just for dudes to get the fuck out of the house. Is it? Is there dues? Do you have to pay to get in? Yeah. Really? They're like throwing my dad was named bucks? rookie of the year. What? His first year. They have a rookie of the year. My father has a picture at the Elks. It, it, well, he did it for a year called the Rookie of the Year. It was a picture of Phil. How do you, <laughs> a blazer how do you, in a suit. How did he get rookie status? Just dominated. Showed up nonstop. Put down brewskis. <laughs> yeah, what kind of stats People is he were putting like, up? Damn, this guy's is unprecedented. <laughs> <laughs> that is actually pretty sad. What? Getting the Rookie of the Year? Rookie the of the Year at a local bar that when you're like rules. 60 years that old. Kind of rules. People are like, holy shit, this guy's an alcoholic. <laughs> What's the age range for the dudes? There's some young bro. My bros are getting into it from yeah. back home, which is the Elks does rule. It's like a dollar a beer. Yeah. That sounds you incredible. You pay your dues, you get like 50 cents beers. There was a bar in Westchester called the Eagles. The There's same a popcorn thing. machine. Oh. Only one that's allowed to have his way with anybody I love is my father. My father, for sure. For sure. <laughs> Ew. I tell you, my dad tried to read my book and he made it five pages in and went, ew, and just closed it. He's like, that's fucking weird, man. He's like, I had to stop. That shit was weird. My dad, yeah, they're, they're very negative entities, fathers. Yeah. My, dad, my dad called me this week and he was like, I got some new material for you when you come home. Perfect. Because the stuff you're doing now is a little stale. <laughs> I was like, all right. <laughs> you fucking so piece funny. of shit. That's so fucking funny, dude. I got to go home to get my new material. True. <laughs> I'm doing it. <laughs> you should spread the rumor that Phil's been ghostwriting this whole Phil time. Phil ghostwrites all of it. Sit at that computer in the basement. <laughs> God damn, how do you fucking... <laughs> There's been a printer in my parents' basement next to his computer that I think is not... It's a Bluetooth printer. <laughs> that's just a decade has sat there totally never used once it's, brand, it's still it's brand new it looks brand new because <laughs> he has no idea and he keeps trying to send shit to the printer <laughs> that's so funny because that's the glasses come down for that operation glasses come that's down every single day <laughs> he's down there just <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> he's got a desktop down there just that so slow. I can't believe he still has a job. I know. <laughs> like they gotta fire him. No, dude. They made so, just, dude. The boomers made so much money that it's just like whatever. It's just they are truly just the bros hanging yeah. out. And that's how that's all his. He's a salesman. All his partnerships are just other dudes. Yeah. None of them can operate computers. They have to. No. Tra- he has to drive to Syracuse to be like did you get that thing <laughs> <laughs> like there's no emails he's got a ford taurus he's got to take up to fucking <laughs> buffalo to be like is everything good and they're like, yes <laughs> but oh. now all the old dudes are getting they're getting ousted so now it's young kids oh that was my dad working with dudes like our age how is it he's got to be so fucking funny i'd be so pumped if that was my like, one of my sales <sighs> reps was phil coming in and being like let's go to the casino oh it'd be so like, funny dude yes yeah, that'd be fun. Phil's coming. We're getting fucking wrecked this weekend. Dude. Uh, it's the only way you can keep sales relationships alive. True. Because you go out, you, you go, face to face. fellas, let's go get fucked up. Let's have a good weekend. Oh, yeah. They're trying to outlaw that. Who? A lot of like companies are like, you can't go, b- like business expenses, you can't write off that's like bullshit. you guys going to the bars anymore. That's bull. Yeah, that's bullshit. Phil right. uses ice cream. Phil's a user. I'll catch him. I'll be down watching TV. You know me. I'm a night owl, so I'm down there. Right and I'll on, see yeah, Phil man. come down at around 1 a.m. Oh. Shirtless. Big ass gut in the kitchen. Just. Bit, of, bit of a fruit bat, dude. <laughs> <laughs> He's a complete fruit bat. He's an Australian fruit bat. I turn around. I say, Phil, what the hell are you doing out there? He's like, oh, oh, what? 
Yeah. I was sitting with Phil, so that was very fun. I got to trick Phil. Nice. Got to put on the Nickelodeon slime football game. And so, like, when someone scores, they throw green stuff all over the field. It's fake. It's all, you know, yeah, yeah. filters and shit. But the first thing was, like, there was just a Santa Claus at wide receiver. And he, like, ran a route. And I could see my dad, like, what the hell? <laughs> What is this? <laughs> like, a player would score. They'd throw slime all over him. <laughs> Wait, like, so Nick Lillian pays to broadcast the game yeah. and slimes everybody? Yeah. Who watches that? The field goal becomes SpongeBob. It was actually, oh, it it was actually your pretty kids enjoyable. Kind of quiet. Yeah. yeah, too. You can keep the, watch yes. the game and keep your kids. It was pretty enjoyable. That's kind of nice. I liked the animated Santa running around on the field. Yeah, dude. But it was nice to see Phil. You know, all the player like introductions were like cartoons of the players. He, he probably thought he was fucking losing it. Going. I mean, it, he has been like out of touch with like graphics. You know, what I mean, when he watches football, it's not what he used to, what he remembered. True. He's starting to get like, what the hell is this? Because it's all like, it's like a, you know, like Fox football is like a robot. Like, yeah, I was, I was telling someone too, it looks, it looks more like video games. You just look more like the game. Now the game looks yeah. more like video games. It's kind of weird. You're exactly right. It's kind of. Has nuts. anybody figured out slime soccer? <laughs> Dude, my dad. No, they can lower the court. My dad would get angry there if we a, lowered the hoop. Yeah, well, I, I agree with that. My dad would get mad. Just out of like a, it should be high. Like yeah, he's like, put yeah, it at 10, learn how 10. to play basketball. He would get angry. He'd see me <laughs> he'd out. He'd throw dad's a basketball coach, though. Yeah. I mean, he beat me up that time when I didn't play basketball. I've told you this story. What? Me and my friend were walking to the park, and he was like, what are you doing? And I, we had tennis rackets. I was like, we're going to play tennis. He's like, no, you're not. <laughs> you're going to play basketball. And I was like. Dude, I had the same exact shit happen to me. I went. Because it was right when South Park came out, the movie, where they were like, can we have five tickets to Terrence Phillips' Ass of Fire? No! <laughs> so I was doing that to everybody. And Phil goes, no, you're going to go play basketball. And I went, no! <laughs> and he walked into the garage, and we just kept walking. We're cutting through all these houses in the backyards. Dude, Phil comes five houses down. He comes sprinting from between houses. That movie, he was in Unhinged. Dude, he, he Russell was Crow. Russell Crow and fully unhinged, unhinged dude. Yeah. And then he chased me. In an open field. I never saw my dad during the day. I, never saw, my I, dad. I saw my dad. Dude, around. I fell down and he started kicking me. You ran? And he gave bro, me an elbow drop. Jack. Yeah, he was. Phil was jumped on me. For playing tennis? For trying to play tennis. You're about and, to do well, for saying shit, no. Dude. Oh, yeah. They're going, go. no. <laughs> dude, five houses down. It's very far for him to be looking. So did you say no to him and then he waited? And he got, like, I said no and he walked back into the walked, garage. We and then walked. he got he did he thought about it yes, and then he searched for me <laughs> and then saw me and sprinted you pissed him off so far so much you know, like terry tate off his linebacker i saw him coming he was like a, fo a football field away Holy i saw him running shit. that far dude and what it were was you like, like it was fucking, from it's from a movie yeah, no at first he was he was he understood it was while he was chasing me he was laughing <laughs> and then he got he caught me and for real was like, you fucking lie. You fucking, you don't talk back. Dude, like that's what, I, that's it's a rage. Insane. It's a rage you don't understand. In front of my friend. Yeah. Hey, my, dude, it's just me and my friend. That's my dad the worst. gave me an elbow drop. That's the worst. Getting an elbow drop in it front was, of your I friend. I was like, dad, what are you doing? Dad, dad, no. <laughs> Did he punch me in the face for a no once? Yeah. It was an accident. He tried to grab me by the collar. The phone was sitting Caught next to me. I was on the computer and I, he goes, answer the phone. It was ringing. I go, no. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, he, he walked straight back. He tried to grab my collar. I ducked. He punched me. Blood fucking coming oh out of my, my nose. Like, what the fuck, Dad? Can you act abused for like the yeah. next week? Yeah. That's amazing. Dude, there's a rage dads have that I can't understand, but like I kind of get. I yeah, sister, probably denied sniz and paying for everyone's meals. My no, sister, also, if you have a child, you've raised a fucking and then me sitting around like a fucking fat idiot playing yeah. games Think and being like, answer the phone. I'm like, no. Ah! He's probably just like, <laughs> dude, I'm going to beat the fuck out of this kid. <laughs> Hold on. Phil played me and my friend two on one in football once. Really? That's we were just watching football you, dude. and my dad was like, you, you guys want to go play football? We ran the option. So whoever was the quarterback would pitch it. And my dad would spear whoever was oh, the quarterback. That's just hit then you, he would score and run onside kicks. <laughs> onside kicks on back and roll the ball in the backyard. And if you tried to get it, he would run off. <laughs> Phil's it, last chance, you. It's right? Unbelievable. Yeah. That's so sick. Uh, yeah, me and my friends still say it to this day. He was running into the end zone going, yeah, baby. <laughs> we, keep, we keep saying it. He's going, yeah, baby. We're like, dude, this is nuts. He it's must like, have probably had a buzz. Definitely. Probably yeah. came home from the Alex was like, you boys want to play a little football? And, it, and that's my thing with my dad. I swear <laughs> to God, all this shit is 60%. It's what? just to fuck with you. 
Yeah. Like if that's like, Yeah, but he was all dude, he was leveling my friend. I get it, but I'm just saying, like, how big how big were you guys? We were probably like seventh, eighth grade, maybe. That's, all right, you're big legal. enough. Yeah, you're big enough. He was yeah. drilling us, dude. He was was he tackling to the ground? Like yes, uh, or just dude, like we playing tackle throw, like throw his shoulder and knock you down, or was he like like dude, dude, alligator Phil rolling? Wanted, Form Phil tackle. Wanted, dude. Phil was big thirty three, dude. <laughs> yeah. Phil was big thirty three. He was? <laughs> yeah. Phil wanted to see if he could tackle high schoolers. Well, back when I lived at my parents, Phil would fuck with me. I'm going to go messing with Shane Squash. <laughs> it was a fucking a beef jerky commercial. <laughs> dads love commercials. Dude. Yeah, they, they, Ever since the Budweiser Frogs, dads have oh, just dude. been, where's the beef? They love catchphrases. Completely taken down. Right now, I think their collective mind is on the show Yellowstone for some reason. They all talk about Yellowstone. Every time I talk to someone, they're like, have you seen Yellowstone? Phil hasn't gotten hit, gotten hit with it yet. Is he a big TV series head or he's no. more sports guy? My Although he was on The Wire for a while this past yeah. year, which made me very happy. That's pretty tight. He liked The Wire. That was a treat. It's pretty enjoyable. Did yeah. I ever tell you about his shoes? No, was he rocking? He has got he got a black and white Air Force One. Oh, you did tell me that, yeah. yeah. Who he got them no for idea. him again? I think my sister. Yeah. He has no idea what they are. And he's just been rocking He's them. just been wearing them with like light jeans and a tucked in Big fucking stepping. t-shirt. <laughs> he's been wearing Air Force Ones. <laughs> <laughs> he has no idea. He has no idea. He's just stomping in his Air Force One. He's stomping, dude. <laughs> Big boy. <laughs> dude. <laughs> That's so he goes funny. to the Elks and he says, Give me two beers. <laughs> <laughs> just like I always think about my mind taking in negative things and it just sets off this whole cocktail of reactions in my body. Yeah. Constantly. It doesn't stop. No shit. It's so funny. I don't think it'll ever stop, by the way. I don't think it will either. Yeah. Because then you just get old and like worse problems, and then you just maybe you get old and just ride it out. Old men seem to have it. Yeah, like if you talk to your dad or Phil, if yeah. I like Phil, what's going on? He's like, I don't give it. Like, shoot me in the fucking dude, head, dude. Literally, end this. Every picture my dad takes, he goes, "That's gonna look good in my funeral." Dude. Yeah, put they it, love save it. that one. He calls it his box party. That looks good in my box party. That's a, that's such might... a funny cope, dude. They're so afraid of oh, that. Oh, I know. Dude, they're, they're so terrified. afraid. They're terrified. It's the only way you can do it is just be like, nah, I can't wait. Yeah, you can make your dad cry I'm in two done. seconds. If you just stop them at a barbecue, I'm like, dude, you did a really good job as my dad, dude. I love you. They'll just be like, Whoa. yeah, they'll cry. Father. Do you say I love you to him? Yeah. Oh man, but he doesn't so nice. say it back. Really? Phil does. Phil never, dude. Phil Me and my has dad such, won't do it. We've never Phil has such it. a hard time with it. I yeah. don't say it to him anymore. I say I love you to my mom while I'm on the yeah. phone with my mom and dad. I, go, yeah. I love you, mom. I go, all right, see you guys. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. See a other guy in the car. Yeah. <laughs> That I don't care about. I'm gonna do it to him. I'm gonna give it to him one day. <laughs> I love you. I fucking love it's you, tough. Man. It is. They handle it real weird. I told you when Phil, I was Phil goes, All right. Yeah. <laughs> That's what he does. Yeah. I accidentally hugged my dad one time and he went like that and he flinched and was like, Ugh. Yeah. I was like I was coming out of a breakfast. I like went to hug my mom and I like wasn't paying attention. It was just my dad and I went to hug him and he went, Whoa. My mom I think we've talked about it before. My mom got into a recent like the last like eight years she started hugging. Ooh. We've always hugged a little bit yeah. like she should try to kiss you on the cheek when you come home. Yeah, I do hug you. She's kiss. short and she always hits me in the neck. And I'm oh. like, ew. Oh. And I, she's like, <sighs> yeah. <laughs> and like, hear her. I'm like, all right, mom. <laughs> you don't love me. I'm like, mom, stop. It's gross. You should bend down. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get it next time she goes for it. I'm gonna go. <laughs> <laughs> Stop kissing, dude. It's weird. It's just what you wanted. I should try to kiss Phil on the cheek. Oh, he pushed me. He fight, yeah. If you can't, dude, no, he would know. See, Phil's got a good sense of humor. He would know I was fucking with him. He'd be like, what the hell are you doing? You guys have that back deck. If he's ever standing, looking over, come from behind him and kiss, <laughs> him, kiss, on him, on the, <laughs> kiss him on the back of his neck. Yeah. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. He's, that he wouldn't he'd like. Fuck his yeah, he would stand up. He'd pull you guys both over the edge. And he tries to, like, when I fuck with him, when he's on his recliner, I love, like, coming up and slapping him in the head and shit. <gasps> he tries to get up, like, fast, like he's going to chase Aww. me. He's always like, <laughs> you can fuck with him I take Dude when he's drinking I always take the remote from him oh, It's so oh fucking fun God. He comes over to the Elks And when I'm home I try I don't drink I'm home I'm just yeah. like Hanging out Phil comes home from the Elks I'm like <laughs> We'll sit down We'll go to get another drink I'll take the remote <gasps> Sit back down on the couch <laughs> He comes back and he's like <laughs> <laughs> 
give me the remote shame. <laughs> he tried to go do the whole fucking. <laughs> like I, let it, I, let, I let it touch his hand. He's like, fucking let go of it. <laughs> oh, so fun, That's dude. That's the best, dude. You tease. Yeah. Just give me it. <laughs> and then he'll, he'll laugh and then he'll switch into like actually mad. <laughs> he gets furious. Hey, give me the fucking remote. That is, that is a perfect like spaz brain though. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, yeah. ah, seriously, like, no, seriously, do not fuck off. God damn it. <laughs> but yeah, the slow get up is great. If I kiss the back of his neck, he would do that. Oh, On the my deck, God. he'd be like, <laughs> the hell are you doing? <laughs> you fucking kiss your father on the neck. Imagine, imagine if he sent a male prostitute to the house. Yeah, it's a hot male prostitute. Oh, what if it worked? <laughs> <laughs> what if I was like, this is gonna be a funny prank? And then my dad fucked a guy. <laughs> Just tore apart my entire family in existence. <laughs> Phil was gay. Shane, why did you do that? To what the us? hell? Oh. Sent over that damn guy. Oh, just an olive skin man with like a ponytail <laughs> goes out and fucking gets. Gay. I think Phil and Tommy hooked up at the beach on the beach trip. <laughs> <laughs> they loved, They were talking a lot, dude. I think Phil liked looking at Tommy's body. Dad, stop fucking my comedy friends, dude. <laughs> Dad, I had to get woken up at eight a.m. Who woke you? Phil pound, dude. He pounds on the door like oh, he's serving a fucking warrant. <laughs> It's fucking crazy, <laughs> dude. It nothing bothers me more. <laughs> doosh, doosh, doosh. Get up. That's how he fucking does it. That's the best. It's so fucking annoying, dude. No. And I'm furious. And then my mom's yelling. Jane. <laughs> From she's like a cat, dude. She'll stand outside your door. Jane. Jane. God, come on, let's go. Oh my god. Gotta get moving. Oh my god. Shut up. You're having like grade school flashbacks. Dude, I was having I had a wild night. Yo, I also <laughs> somebody created. trashed Phil on a comment we were talking about today. What the fuck? Yeah, it was pretty funny. I was reading them to him. Did it get him? Because people were killing him and then they were someone was like, Why does Phil have such fucking tragically small feet? <laughs> <laughs> Just eviscerated him. He has tiny feet, dude. <laughs> Phil has little tiny feet. He wears like size tens. He's six two. <laughs> so I forget they were killing him, dude. Oh, no. Like he looks like he's got Freddy Krueger's skin. He was like dark red Why'd and freckled. Like, Why would you show him? Because it was so funny. Because I was like, Phil, the comments are getting you. He's like, I don't care what those guys oh, say. Man. I was like, here's one. Yeah, I would read it. He'd be like, he was like, what? <laughs> He started laughing. He just got him right away. Imagine like if there was like a uh, psycho sports dad who did that same energy on their kid. Yeah, it does. It happens all the time. It shatters the kid. Thank God. Phil Phil was close. He could have been that. Psycho sports parent. He he occasionally he would show up and watch practice. That's tipping. <laughs> he was bordering, but during the games, he never, he would never yell once. He just, See, he was just he was stood just, at the top of the bleachers. He was just invested. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Dude, one time I got done my sophomore, <laughs> sophomore year. No, this is crazy. I get done. I came down to the basement. Where Phil was down there and he, he like muted the television when I sat down on the couch and he was like, how do you think you played tonight? <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? He's like, if you had to grade yourself, what would you give it? Oh. I was like, the fucking B. He's like, I'd say D, but <laughs> I was like, holy shit, Phil. That was the only time he ever did it. God damn. He was mad at how I played. I'm like, talk to my dad. Like, what's your cable plan? He's like, it's like $750. Dude, I'm like, dude, stop paying. It this. works for me. I just steal everything. Phil has True. HBO Max. True. You get to, you I get to watch the Phil's. I steal $400 worth of Phil's shit. <laughs> Dude. He has no idea. I'm like, dude, you don't need. He's like, yeah, but it's right there. You flate. You talked to my remote. Yeah. Pull, I'm like, dude. and that never. They're like, <laughs> Phillies baseball. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Comcast Sports Network. <laughs> it's like you requested Paw Patrol. <laughs> God damn it. It's like an Indian spelling bee. <laughs> yes. I was fucking with. I was home after the Hershey shows. I was doing this to Phil. <laughs> no. I was home and I kept going, Phil, fucking look at this. <laughs> this is the exact photo. I Googled naked man's ass. <laughs> I kept going like that. Goes, God, <laughs> That's good stuff. That's naked man's ass. Just a hunk's ass. Hunk's ass. Because I was just sitting there. We, we were... 
hanging out with Phil all day, and I was like, Phil, what are you, what are you doing? Just sitting there thinking about guys' nuts and asses. He was like, Yeah, okay, Shane. I was like, Dad, all you do is think about guys' asses. When my grandma was his age. She, I, we talked about. It, she fell behind a bush trying to get her hose and just had to lay there for like seven hours in the summer behind a bush. Oh, the, really? In the mulch, just. <laughs> Oh, finally, no. finally, the neighbor kids got home from school, and she was like, "Hello!" <laughs> <laughs> they just saw an old. It was a witch. Dude. <laughs> they saw an old woman's head sticking out from a bush. Oh my god! They probably thought like, the azaleas don't go over there. <laughs> yeah, dude. She's gonna eat us. Oh, they probably thought like the azaleas were talking to her, talking to them or whatever. That's fine. Yeah. That's terrifying. Boys, she's geezed up. Yeah, I'm telling you. I thought on the last. I gotta tell this. It makes me laugh every single time. Phil. She was living with us. She fell right at, the, right at the front door. She was just on the ground <laughs> next to our front door in like that side room. Just She was just laying on the floor. Phil had to move a couch in, so he asked the neighbor kid to carry it in with him. Oh. So the kid was carrying the other, the that end. Phil was walking it in. The kid goes in first and is like, oh, my God. <laughs> like just, An old woman is just laying on the ground. And Phil came in second. was like, ah, Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> there was just a downed woman just a downed woman and you know how weird it is when you go into like your neighbor's house yeah like you just see this house every single day oh, of your yeah. life and then you finally get inside it and you're like whoa yeah true i had no idea what this was oh then you see just an old a woman laying on the ground like hello <laughs> Motherfucker.